Hello and welcome back LinkedIn and YouTube to the Jones Lang with Sound Metaverse sneak peek number five. Firstly, I'd like to thank Carlos, Zhao, Fabio, and Arthur for your amazing mastery in helping me build a companion app to the virtual reality metaverse that we created for Jones Lang with Sound. What you see here is a very simplistic 3JS uh, 3D model viewer that we can look at in the browser on iPads, iPhones, and Android devices. But what we've also done, which is extraordinary, is port over some of the work we completed last year and a huge project in proof of concept and prototype for hand tracking in the browser using the MetaQuest 2. And the reason this is so important, because I don't believe that the metaverse is only secluded or isolated into these game engine type situations, right? So it's not only in Unity or Unreal, the metaverse will cross all of these invisible boundaries. So if you're in the browser or if you're in Unity or if you're in Unreal, all of these different applications can communicate with each other in real time. This also provides a frictionless way to send out your applications to users all over the world. And this is something I referenced previously that I believe that the application stores will be dead on arrival in just a few years because of this aspect. This is something Apple's looking into wholeheartedly and many other competitors as well, where you have one website that allows you to view augmented reality models via GLTF, GLB, or USB. DZ, and then you can actually output them into virtual reality via a little portal, via A-Frame 3JS, and many other types of uh, game engine platforms. And then you can cross the bridge and connect those things together. And this is where the magic is going to happen. You're just going to send someone a QR code. They're going to go to a website. They're going to be able to see AR models. They're going to be able to look at it in VR. And they're also going to be able to see it in spatial computing XR type devices like the Magic Leap 2 and uh, the Microsoft HoloLens 2 and many other other competitors that are now entering that fray. Thank you so much. Let's jump into this right now.